Welcome back, everyone. Today we have a very special guest who's fetched us all the juiciest tech news straight from Ted AI Vienna. He's cute, he's tech savvy, and he's ready to spill the kibble on the latest AI breakthroughs. Give it up for Fido, the tech loving Dachshund. Thanks for having me. I've sniffed out some incredible stories at TED AI Vienna, and I'm here to fetch all the details for you, without a single rough day in sight. All right, Fido, let's get into it. So, Fido, rumor has it there's an AI that can smell? Is that even possible? Oh, absolutely. And as a dog, I take smells very seriously. There's a company called Centronics that's made a digital nose. This AI analyzes thousands of scent molecules to create perfumes that don't exist anywhere else. Move over, eau de kibble. This tech is in a whole new league. So you're saying AI is competing with you in the sniffing department? I know, right? But hey, they're still not up to dog nose level. Until AI can find that single missing sock from under the couch, we dogs are still top sniffers. That's a high bar, Fido. But this digital nose thing sounds amazing. Totally. They're even using it in perfume companies like Bold to make new scents that are out of this world. Who knows, maybe one day we'll have a cologne called Essence of Squirrel. All right, Fido, tell us about this next one. I hear there's an AI that can read minds. Yep, believe it or not. Professor Chintang Li from the Australian AI Institute has developed AI that can decode your thoughts with a 50% success rate. Now, I know what you're thinking, 50%? That's like flipping a bone and hoping it lands on the tasty side, right? Exactly, but it sounds like it's still a big deal. Bark, yeah, it is. A couple of years ago, AI could barely pick up on basic words from brainwaves. Now, it's starting to decode entire ideas. Imagine controlling devices with just your thoughts. It's like the ultimate dog dream. Think, treat, receive, treat. I can see the appeal, and it could help so many people. Totally. People who can't talk could finally express themselves. And who knows, maybe someday, They'll even make a mind-reading machine for dogs. Then I could finally let everyone know my true thoughts on vacuum cleaners. Now, this one's got me on the edge of my seat. AI that can dig up ancient history? Oh, this is positively awesome. Researchers Yusuf Mohammed Nader and Julian Schilliger are using AI to read ancient texts that got carbonized by the eruption of Mount Vesuvius. Imagine a bunch of burned scrolls that humans couldn't read at all, and then AI steps in like, hold my bone, and brings back history. Wow, so it's like an AI archaeologist. Exactly. It's basically the tech world's Indiana bones. AI is reading words that haven't been seen in thousands of years. I wonder if they'll dig up ancient recipes for treats. Fido, if they do, I'll let you be the taste tester. I'll hold you to that. But seriously, this AI is bringing ancient knowledge back from the dead. It's like barking with ghosts. All right, Fido, so I heard things got pretty deep at TED AI Vienna. Something about humanity's future? Oh, yeah. This philosopher, Andrea Lavazza, shared a theory that we might be at the end of a big cosmic cycle. And his solution? Pass our culture and the knowledge to AI. Basically, robots that carry on our legacy when we're not around anymore. Wow, robots that inherit everything from us? That's both inspiring and a little spooky. Imagine a future where you see robo-dogs learning how to fetch, or even robo-humans passing down family recipes, makes you think, huh? What will we humans, and dogs, be remembered for? It really does. Let's hope the robots remember to keep treats on hand. Agreed. 
it wouldn't be much of a legacy without snacks. Speaking of change, I heard there was a speaker who made a bold claim about reading and writing. Oh, that's right. Victor Riparbelli, the CEO of Synthesia, made a prediction that our grandkids might not need to learn to read or write because AI will handle it all. Imagine a world where you just talk to AI and it takes care of everything. No reading or writing at all. That's a game changer. Woof. You're telling me, schools might focus more on problem solving, creativity, and learning how to work with AI. Plus, think about the endless possibilities. No more spelling tests. Though, I guess that means no more snack breaks to celebrate passing spelling tests. So maybe it's a bit of a mixed bag. And no more handwritten love notes. AI-generated poetry might be a little less personal. True. AI's good, but can it really capture the thrill of a slobbery, paw-printed letter? I think not. So, Fido, rumor has it that Chris Turner, the freestyle rap legend, went head-to-head -head with ChatGPT at TEDAI Vienna. How did it go? Oh, it was a showdown to remember. Chris Turner brought his A-game and absolutely crushed it with those quick-fire rhymes. ChatGPT did its best, but let's just say it was one paw short this time around. Sounds like ChatGPT met its match. But tell me, Fido, what if you'd been up there on stage with ChatGPT? Think Chris would have had a tougher battle? Now you're barking up the right tree. If it'd been Fido and ChatGPT versus Chris, oh! He might have been in for a rough time. With ChatGPT's clever rhymes and my tail wagging rhythm, that stage would have been ours. Maybe next time, Chris. And hey, speaking of rhymes, if you haven't heard me freestyle with ChatGPT yet, you're missing out. Go give it a listen. I've got bars that'll make even the toughest rapper sit and stay. Listen. Now you're barking up the right tree, let's get it clear Fido and Shaq, GPT, the dream team here If Chris stepped up, he'd be in for a rough night Cause we got the bite and the bark just right With my tail wag rhythm, I'm keeping the pace And Shaq, GPT's clever bars all up in his face That stage would have been ours, no ifs, some maybes Next time Chris steps up, he better come with rabies You're barking up the right tree, let's get it clear Fido and Shaq, GPT, the dream team here If Chris stepped up, he'd be in for a rough night Cause we got the bite and the bark just right With my tail wag rhythm, I'm keeping the pace And Shaq, GPT's clever bars all up in his face That stage would have been ours, no ifs, some maybes Next time Chris steps up, he better come with rabies Up the right tree, let's get it clear Fido and Shaq, GPT, the dream team here If Chris stepped up, he'd be in for a rough night Cause we got the bite and the bark just right With my tail wag rhythm, I'm keeping the pace And Shaq, GPT's clever bars all up in his face That stage would have been ours, no ifs, some maybes Next time Chris steps up, he better come with rabies Watch out, Chris Turner. Sounds like we've got a future rap duo to keep an eye on. You know it. And hey, if I'm on the mic, everyone better bring their A game and a few treats to celebrate afterward. Fido, you've shared so much today. AI that can smell, read minds, unlock ancient texts, a future with robots carrying our legacy, and even a world where we might not need to read or write. It's hard to wrap my head around. Tell me about it. 
If AI can do all this now, imagine what's coming in the next five or 10 years. We're at the start of a brand new era and I can't wait to see what's next. Just remember to keep a stash of treats handy. It's going to be a wild ride. Fido, it's been a blast. Thank you for breaking down the latest from TED AI Vienna for us. Thanks for having me. And to everyone watching, hit that subscribe button if you want to stay updated on all things tech. Until next time, keep those tails wagging and those treats coming.